Today we're doing the backhand chip. This is one of my favorite moves and we have a great highlight here from Konechny showing what it can do for you. As he comes down the off wing, he uses the backhand chip to get up and over his defenseman's stick and into the scoring area for the shot and the goal. Part of what makes this highlight so insane is that the puck is a little bit on end and I think it actually goes up higher in the air than he even intended to do it. Uh, so I'm going to show you how I would normally do it. As you're coming down on an opponent, you're going to draw that puck from your forehand side to your backhand side. It doesn't have to be a super long pull, but the thing that needs to happen is that as the puck goes side to side, you need to maintain that blade angle. If your blade is up here like it's perpendicular to the ice, it's not going to work. One helpful way I've learned to help maintain this blade angle is to simply let both of my hands travel across my body to maintain the blade angle. And at that point, we're just working on timing. We want that puck to hit the blade and just, it's like it wants to crawl up your blade a little bit. And from there, you can just chip that thing up and over your opponent's blade like so. The goal here is, I want to get good at quickly setting this up and quickly making the chip. But it's not going to start that way. You're going to have to start with a little bit longer pull, really working on maintaining the blade angle, and then eventually you work it up to a little bit of a quicker chip. One last tip I got for you guys. Remember that when you do chip moves, you can't control how the puck is going to land on the other side very well. That was part of what was so cool about the connect me highlight. So don't get frustrated if the puck doesn't land perfectly good on the other side of your opponent's blade. That doesn't matter. It's done what it needed to do. It got you and the puck to the other side. Good luck and build your game.